it could or couldn't do. Good afternoon. Thank everybody for being here. Uh, we're going to bring the 2023 public federal block grant hearing to order. Uh, so I have a statement here and then we're going to turn it over. So let's just sort of get this started the way we're supposed to. Uh, this legislative public hearing on block grants is here by call to order. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Senator Ben Watson, uh, District 1, and Representative Chair Lady Katie Dempsey of uh, District 13. Caitlin Little to my left, uh, Senate Budget and Evaluation Office. Amber Mack to uh, Chairman Dempsey's right, representing the House Budget and Research Office. So we got the Senate and House Representative Rashad Jackson, Budget Director of, uh, for the Department of Human Services, and Chris Hamilton. Chief Financial Officer here to our left, both of them for the Department of Behavior, Health, and Developmental Disabilities. Uh, so I do need to make sure if there's anybody here uh, that requires sign language, if we need to do uh, get the interpreter closer to you, uh, position themselves uh, more closely, please raise your hand. So... Uh, all right. So thank you for attending today's block grant hearing. The purpose of the hearing is to receive public comments on the use of five human services block grants that Georgia receives from the federal government. The hearing also provides the members of the Georgia legislature the opportunity to listen to the reviews of private citizens and other interested parties on how block grant funds should be used for the state fiscal year 2024, which will begin July 1, 2023. So these block grants are community mental health block grant, community services block grant, low income home energy assistance block grant, social services block grant, and substance abuse prevention and treatment block grant. Public input is an important aspect of the deliberative process that the Georgia legislature undertakes in making decisions about the state's budget. Thank you for taking the time to participate in this process, and at this time I'll turn it over to Rashad Jackson. He'll give us a brief summary of the grants and explain how we will proceed. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. Thank you, Senator Watson. As Senator Watson stated, the Department of Human Services will receive public comments for three federal block grants today. By federal law, Georgia is required to hold public hearings on these grants. These three grants are the Community Services Block Grant, the Low Income Energy Assistance Block Grant, and the Social Services Block Grant. At this time, I will give each of you an overview of each of these grants. The Community Services Block Grant provides funds for services and activities that impact causes of poverty to assist low-income individuals. These funds are distributed to local agencies throughout the state and fund a wide range of services, including employment, education, meals and nutrition services, and housing services. The Low Income Assistance Energy Block Grant provides class cash assistance to qualified low-income households for energy costs, weatherization costs, such as insulation, caulking, and weather stripping, to reduce energy consumption, and for energy crisis intervention. Finally, the Social Services Block Grant funds various services such as daycare services for adults, children, and persons with mental retardation, home delivered meals, homemaker services, transportation, and protective services for adults and children. This grant also assists families to achieve and or maintain economic self-support and sufficiency. At this time, Chris Hamilton, the Chief Financial Officer of the Department of Behavioral Health and Development Disabilities, will provide a list and a brief summary of his grants per his agency. Chris? Thank you, Rashad. The Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities will receive public comments on two federal block grants today. These two grants are the Community Mental Health Services Block Grant and the Substance Abuse Prevention and Treatment Block Grant. Here is a brief overview of these grants. 
The Community Mental Health Services Block Grant implements the provisions of the Mental Health State Plan by providing services to individuals with a severe mental illness and to children with a serious emotional disturbance. The Substance Abuse Prevention and Treatment Block Grant provides funds for community-based alcohol and drug treatment prevention and early intervention programs. Thank you. Now I will turn it back over to Rashad to continue the proceedings. Thanks, Chris. More details about each of these grants, including the types of programs that can be funded and their proposed funding levels are included in the color-coded pamphlets that are available on the table outside. There's a separate pamphlet for each grant. Before receiving your comments, I need to go over a few ground rules. We will take speakers in the order in which they signed up to speak. If you have yet to sign up to speak, you may do so at the table back outside. Please give us your name and the name of the organization that you represent. If there are more than one representative here for the same organization, please choose one from your organization to speak. By doing this, we will ensure each organization and each citizen has a chance to comment. Where are we going next? <clears throat> you will be given five minutes to which to present your comments. There's a timekeeper who will let you know when you have one minute left. I will initially call two speakers to the podium at one time. As the first person speaking, the next speaker should be making his or her way to the podium. Then I will call your name on your way to the podium. I think when we last checked, no one had signed up, so I still have the opportunity to sign up uh, and make themselves move forward. All right. Well, if there's no speakers, I would like to thank each of you for attending today's hearing. I would like to thank the panel, Chairman, the Senate panel, the Chairman Watson, um, from the City Budget and Evaluation Office, Caitlin Little, um, the House Chairman, Kate Dempsey, and the House Budget and Resource Office, Amber Mack. I will now return it over to Senator Dempsey. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, meeting is adjourned.